Okay, so your professional development requirement is a School of Engineering requirement, and it consists of pretty much four credits, three classes. It's broken up in different ways depending upon your major, which is why you'll see that I've pulled up both the Mechanical Engineering template and the Chemical Engineering template. Um, this is a conversation that you'll get to have with your SOE Hub Advisor, so we will make sure that you know exactly how you will fulfill your professional development requirement. Um, but it is pretty straightforward once you take a look at it. So if we scroll into the Mechanical Engineering template, we will see a course here called ST STSS 4100. It is a two credit course. Uh, yes, STSS is a Haas course, but this is going to be outside of your Haas core requirements. Your Haas core requirements are 20 credits. As you know, this is an additional two Haas classes. So theoretically, by the time you graduate, at the very minimum, you will have taken 22 Haas credits. If you love Haas and you take more Haas credits, that's totally up to you. You're more than welcome to do that. Um, but again, uh, at the very minimum, you will be taking 22 Haas credits. Um, this is what we call Professional Development 2. Um, on the Mechanical Engineering template and many, many other engineering templates, you will also see this course here. Um, the Engineering Design Elective, or you might see, if I scroll down, um, this class here, Introduction to Engineering Design. Your second, or technically your first, professional development requirement is embedded into this class, or if you choose the Inventor Studio, depending upon your major, it is also embedded into that class. How do I know that? This is why footnotes are very, very important. So, Engineering 1010 is considered PD1. Um, just looking at the mechanical engineering curriculum, you can see that uh, they don't have to be taken in order. They are not prerequisites of each other. Um, the goal is that you just take these three different requirements of professional development. Um, the third one we save, it is down in your senior year. It is right here. Um, engineering 4010, Professional Development Leadership. This is a one credit course. You can see it is an engineering class. Um, many students have questions about these, especially when they start to plan their sophomore year and they see this Haas course assigned to them, um, which looks very different to your engineering courses and your math and science courses. So that is exactly what it is. Um, it is just one element of your professional development requirements. On the chemical engineering degree, just to show you how it looks, if you do not have to take uh, Inventor Studio or Introduction to Engineering Design, you will actually see Engineering 1010 right on your major template as a one credit requirement. Again, it's that simple, totally depends upon your major, you just have to look at your major template and have a conversation with your hub advisor. Um, always remember we're here to help.